Good morning, everyone. This is Lolly. I'm going to show you today another way that I have started doing the Rummy Cube tiles. This one is the kind that has the etching in it and the beveled edges. Uh, pretty much the way they are making all the new tiles now. Take a one and a half by, see, one and a half by one and three quarter. I've already forgotten. Um, piece of paper here. I'm just measuring. Yes, one and a half by one and three quarter. And I just distressed the ends. This is just a piece of paper I cut out of a book. I was going to use this side, but I think I like this with the flowers better. I cut out the word friendship that I had typed up on the computer. I highlighted the word in black highlight, and then I changed the ink to or ink to white to say friendship. I used Judikin's diamond glaze for glazing the top. Um, but to get this to stick to that, I usually just use Mod Podge. And let me get my junky old brush out here. So I'm going to give this a nice coat, including that beveled edge. Putting a little extra right there with all of the um, etching in there. I'm not too worried about this brush. Like I said, I'm going to throw this one away anyway. So. I'm going to turn this sideways, center this on there. I'm going to hold that down a little bit. It wants to slide at first, so I'm kind of holding it while I pat it down. I do want to slide it a little bit to the left to get it organized and centered. And then when I get that, I'm going to push down on the sides to kind of cover those beveled edges well. Okay. Just a few times of doing that to make sure I get a good seal on the sides. Then I'm going to set this aside for about 20 minutes. Okay, and then when that's all dry, I will take the diamond glaze to it. Okay, it's been 20 minutes. This is dry, so I want to take the diamond glaze and I'm just going to get the air bubble out there. I'm going to outline this image with the diamond glaze. I just keep my finger right in the middle here so it doesn't get glazed. And then I start pulling diamond glaze down into the dry areas here. I usually just hold, put my finger up against the side of the tile and that stops it from sliding around. And I'm looking to make sure there's no dimples in there anywhere. A dimple would say that there's um, a spot that hasn't been gotten. I squeeze the air out of here, wipe it off, and cap it. Till it clicks. Now I have one that I've already done. This is a book page that I've stamped on and I'm going to put some trim on this and I really have become to realize that I don't have enough lace trim. So um, and on this one I got this trim from a friend of mine. I'm going to turn this over and I have my glue gun all ready and I'm just going to start edging that here. Okay, I'm not a big fan of glue, hot glue, but um, when, something like this when you need to work fast and it, it, you don't want it, you want it to dry. So I'm going to put a little dot right on the corner there, so I can fold this over on itself, like that, to get around that corner. And get that edge. I'm just going to go all the way around the back of this tile and then a dot there to fold it over on itself. I've done this with wider lace and it's still really pretty. Um, but I do want to get some white and ecru laces that are kind of narrow in width. And I'm going to a little dot in the corner, fold it over on itself. And now that I see how much I need, I'm going to give myself a little extra here and cut that off. Almost done. And I do like to leave a little extra to overlap right here. And here's my overlap. Oops, glue gun falling over. There we go. I saw the other day that they have, <laughs> sliding around, that they have um, little silicone finger caps that you can wear for hot gluing so you don't burn yourself. So that's it right there. And I have some of this 
fake pearl uh, bead that I'm going to glue around the bottom here. Actually, I'm going to put this under it. This is a silicone mat. Oops, I just got some on the top, so I just wiped it off with my finger because I don't want hot glue on the glazed surface there. This gets really messy. <laughs> you can see I'm dealing with a lot of strings here. But the hot glue will come off that glazed surface, so that's handy. Okay, now because um, the lace has holes in it, your hot glue will go through to whatever is under your lace. That's why I put that silicone mat there. If you just have paper under there, it'll stick to your paper. Okay. And that edge. So we are having beautiful sunny weather lately. We've got a chance to go outside and ride our bikes and okay. It's a little project and so the little ones usually are harder to do because it's hard to get your fingers around there. I'm going to leave one extra bead right here to go around the corner. And there. I usually don't like starting on an edge on a corner. I like starting right in the middle because it's easier to get that glued on. So you can see what I have now. Let's see. And I want to put something in the middle of that uh, flower right there. Let's move this back off and unplug before I hurt myself. Okay, so I have some pearls and beads. I'm going to take a look at what I have here and what I want to put on the, in the center of that flower. I'm going to grab me a couple pair of tweezers. I have. It's hard because my fingers are still covered with hot glue. Yes, I think I'm going to go with this. It's a little half round fake pearl. There's that one. And. There's another one that's more white. I'm going to see if I like that one better. I think I'll go with the whitish one because it goes better with the white lace and the other white pearls. And I'm using E6000 to glue this down because I have a, the surface here is glazed and so to just use any other kind of glue would not get a permanent yield on that. So there you have altered rummy cube tile. It would make a great embellishment for anything. You could put something on the back there. I have one that I've already completed that I'll show you. This one's dry. And this one is um, decorative paper. Still got glue, hot glue. Decorative paper. This is a, this bird is a wood veneer that I painted black and after I glazed this and it dried, I glued the bird on, then I glazed the bird. I have some pearls right in here, fake pearls. And I have more of a uh, tea-stained lace around that with some ecru pearls around that. And I put it back on this one. And as you can see, I turned it into a paper clip. You know me and my paper clip loves. So thank you so much for watching. Basically, this was a video response for um, Cassidy's Timeless Creation video uh, channel and also for Junk Journal Jenny's giveaway. Thank you for watching.